Hi everybody, Kai Waza with you, and we are on a journey through my Hawaiian and Exotica record collection, one record at a time. I started this series about four years ago. Uh, after watching some other people going through their record collections uh, and talking about them, and it just kind of inspired me that I should do it with my Hawaiian one, because it's like this huge collection. So that's what I've been doing, and we're on the letter P, and we're going to pick up where we left off on the last video. Here's a record I really love. Um, I love everything about this music. I, I mean, everything about this record. The record, the music is great. It's okay. It's cool. I like it. Uh, but I just, I just love the record. It is a budget record label, the Plymouth label, very budget label record. And uh, I love this illustration. It's called An Hour of Hawaiian Melodies, misspelt Hawaiian, only one I. Um, don't you just love this? By the fictitious group known as the Plymouth Hawaiian Orchestra. <laughs> I kind of love that. Um, anyway, love this picture. Now, the music on this album, there is no Plymouth Hawaiian Orchestra that's made up. Uh, it, I'm not exactly sure who it is. It is definitely Hal Aloma is a member as playing steel and singing on some of these numbers, but I don't know if it's like Hal Aloma's early recordings of Hal Aloma's own orchestra, or whether he was performing with this other group or whatever. I don't know, and I don't, you know, I don't know that I'll ever know, but um, there's no Plymouth Hawaiian Orchestra, you know, that was churning out Hawaiian records. <laughs> but that's who this is, and it's interesting because in, it's not an hour, it's actually half an hour, and uh, they extended the songs, because you can actually find this record on a 10-inch by a group called the Waikiki Wanderers, and it's exactly the same album, except this one is extended. They actually took some of the songs and, like, cut them in half and restarted it in the middle, and so they, they stretched out what was originally maybe like a two-minute song to, like, a four-minute song, just by editing it longer. I do love the budget labels, and Plymouth is very budget, for sure. One of the earlier, earlier budget labels. Okay, up next, something else from a budget label also, but Johnny Poi and his... Well, this is Johnny Poi and the Oahu Islanders. Now, uh, I grew up... Let me show you this one first. This is Johnny Poi and his surfboarders. The album's called Hawaii Calling. Now, I grew up with this album. My grandfather had this when I was a little kid. And I loved it. It's uh, pretty much all instrumental. There's one song that has some vocals on it. Um, and I love the steel. Every single song I love the steel on. Part of some of the songs on here, again, Johnny Poi, there's no group as far as I'm aware ever really that was called Johnny Poi. Uh, some of these songs are from a group we saw previously, an album we saw previously, Johnny Pineapple. Some of those songs are directly off of that album. Uh, and then some of them are off uh, another album that I'm going to show you, but next, also by Johnny Boy. But um, they sound to me like Hal Aloma, I think, pretty much on the steel guitar. But I love this record. I mean, it's been released on different budget labels. This one's on Grand Prix series, but I've seen it on other labels with exactly the same illustration, artwork, and everything. And I do love the artwork. Very cool. And as you've been hearing, I think the version of Hawaiian War Chant, which they call here something else, Tahua Hawaii Hawaiian War Chant, uh, probably one of the one or two most rocking, awesome, amazing versions of uh, Hawaiian War Chant ever. When I, back when I used to work in KCCN in the 80s, I actually started putting that version out on the air. Nobody here had really heard it. It wasn't something that was played here, that version and people loved it, and other DJs were playing it a lot, and it's just a rockin' version. Anyway, yeah, love this record. Uh, then, 
this is what I had for years and years. Okay, I need this record. Then many, many flash forward, many decades later, I'm in uh, in Oregon at the at Rip City Music where they sell everything for one dollar in the '90s, and I come across this album, which excited me tremendously. Johnny Poi and the Oahu Islanders, and I could recognize from the track list that it was a lot of the same record songs from the album I just showed you that I liked so much but didn't really know where they were from or whatever. Well, they're from this album, and there are other songs on this album that were not on that, so this was an exciting record for me to find. Uh, it says it was recorded in 1958, but the liner notes talk about Hawaii becoming a state in 1959, so that doesn't make a lot of sense, so I'm not sure. Maybe the original material was recorded a little earlier, not that much earlier though by the style of it, and then uh, State of came, I don't know, but this is a killer record also. It also has the great version of Hawaiian War Chant, uh, has killer version of uh, Kila Kila Haleakala, uh, lots of songs, I mean Wiki Wiki Mai, this is a great record if you run across it, I just love it. Spectrum Design Records by Design. And yeah, love it. Uh, this also, oh, I should have pulled, when I was showing you this one, I should say this one is the same record. Um, this was given to me by somebody years later. It's the same recording as that one, but a different. Uh, you know, release of it, which has happened with these kind of budget records. Um, but it's the same album. Now we're up to an artist simply named Polly. Polly Wanakraka, like Polly and his Hawaiian ensemble. Hawaiian Sunset on Harmony, which is a kind of the budget label of uh, Columbia Records. I had this record as a kid, very young kid, and it was one of those records, very pretty cover, beautiful cover, right? Um, that I uh, did not like as a kid uh, because I just only, as a child, really liked the flashy, crazy Hawaiian steel guitar music, loved that sort of stuff, and didn't love something that was slower and just more melodic. I like it now, but I still love the crazy stuff more, honestly, but anyway. Uh, but I do like this album. This is a nice album. Uh, steel guitar, organ, quiet music, very pretty. who the steel guitarist is. Um, I feel like I should be able to identify them, but I don't know. It's almost like Bud Tugmark or something. I don't know, but it's nice. Very nice. Polly and his Hawaiian Ensemble. Now, we come up to another artist named Polly, but it's not the same artist. It's a different Polly. So there are apparently many Pollys in Polynesia, or Pol Poly... Poly Pollys, something. Um... This one is from Argentina, actually, though. So. Polly and his Hawaiian guitar. The album is called Hawaii Tattoo. And this was kind of a fun discovery. Um, yeah, I like this record. A lot of... There's some of these songs that are kind of a salute to the Waikiki Keys. Hawaii Tattoo, that song, and a couple others. And uh, I don't know, I just sort of like his style. It's a little different. anything about this artist, but I do have several things from him. Here's Polly Tango's Volume 2. Now, I don't know how many volume of tangos. I have a couple. I think there's like nine or ten. I don't know. I don't have them. And I always debate because I do see them from time to time. You can see them on Discogs and eBay and whatever, but they're kind of a pretty penny. And 
I like it. I just don't know if I like it enough to spend like twenty or thirty dollars a pop on these records, especially when they're being shipped in usually from South America. So the the postage is quite high. <laughs> one is Tango is a volume three. <sighs> yeah. Another one. Suavemente Boleros, Volume 2. I don't know how many volumes of Suavemente Boleros there are, but this is nice also. <laughs> You know, these records, I mean, like, it's night, there's a bunch you can see down here. I don't know how many, many volumes, but um, it's nice to hear these different songs you don't normally hear, you know, on the Hawaiian guitar, and I do like his playing, but like I said, I just, I'm not sure, you know, if I have the money to burn at times, okay, I'll spend 20 bucks a record and whatever, you like 15 to ship it or something, but I just don't do it that often because, you know, it's... But they're not the kind of record you're probably going to not find. You're probably not going to find it in a thrift store. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, here is uh, the last one I'll show today. This is a 10-inch out of France, a group I have no familiarity with whatsoever, and I really don't know what their name means. What does it mean? They're called the Polynan Hawaiians. What does that mean? I don't know. It's just a of a cute record you know there's some messing up of lyrics and stuff but you kind of expect that and records coming from another country trying to do Hawaiian or even Hapa Haole sometimes they'll mess it up but whatever yeah Polyn and Hawaiians we're gonna stop there today and we will pick up next time where we left off and which is going to be the Polynesians it's a group I really am fond of they did a lot of recording on Crown Records, a budget label, but they're called Polynesians. That's going to be the next video, and uh, I have enough records by them. It's going to be the whole video. So we'll catch you next time. Have a good week, and leave any comments below if you have any of these records or any thoughts about them, or, or what do you spend on a record? Like, I don't like to spend a lot of... I mean, I'm cheapy. I'll get them cheap, cheap, cheap if I can, but if it's something really unusual that I just, you know, I know I'm not going to see very often depending on how the money flow is going on at the time, I mean, I don't mind paying, I don't mind paying $20 in person for a record if it's in front of me and it's something really cool, but that's kind of the limit, you know, usually, and then if I'm going to pay $20 and it's going to have to be shipped in from Japan or somewhere, yeah, it's got to be something I'm really interested in, really interested in. Okay, what about you? I don't know. Some people, that's nothing, but to me, I just, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all about dollar bins, if I can do it that way.